the members in the city took up the phone and was giving Sam Phillips a check and going all right, all right. Here we are talking about Jerry Lewis. Twenty five years ago, after his first release, Jerry Lewis was on the road and he 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 was on the road and uh, Jerry Lee Lewis definitely does have this. And that's despite problems with the law, the government, and his ex-wives. I never left no wife. They all left. Thank God. For a million dollars a piece. But the IRS didn't get they finished it all. Okay, $40,000, anybody, $40,000, somebody, $40,000 In 1980, the IRS seized an auction off all of his valuables they could find. Uncle Sam figured the killer to be over a quarter of a million dollars behind in his taxes. You for a man can't even buy a Rolls Royce no more. Thank God for Swiss banks. Recent medical problems were a little harder for Jerry to laugh off. Last June, the killer was rushed here to Methodist South for emergency surgery. He had a two-inch tear in his stomach. Ten days later, he underwent five-and-a-half-hour surgery for abscesses that developed. His doctor said the operation had only a 5% survival rate. I spent 61 days in intensive care. They were some of the best-looking nurses I have ever met. <laughs> I know they've done a lot of praying for me, but thank God. While still recovering from surgery, Jerry Lee made the headlines during the trial of Dr. George Nicopolis. One of the charges against him was overprescribing amphetamines to the killer. Public record that Jerry had problems. It's been in Memphis papers many, many times. But uh, I'd like to say that Jerry was never an addict. I don't care what they say. I'm just mentally crazy. Hanging in the best I can. I wouldn't change the things, man. I don't know. I might change a few things, but you can't look at it that way. I mean, it's impossible to go back, you know. I mean, you don't you never look back. You look forward. <laughs> I said, oh. the Cotton Carnival show. You know, well, there's 15,000 people out there that Dick Clark show. And it would be the, the demographics were 15 to 50. And you know what they were doing? They were standing up on their seats with you when Jerry Lee was playing. Now, these are 14-year-old people. You don't have to have a helper left to quit, honey. It's easy down. It's a new generation. Um, this will be about my third trip round. Looking forward to the fourth trip round. And this thing in one little old spot has to be over the team. You're talking about why he's still popular. Is he's He's got the same thing Elvis had, and that's charisma. See, when he walks in the room, it's just like when Elvis walked in the room, you didn't even have to turn around. You could just that's feel right. the electricity. That's right. that's right. And that's what uh, Jerry Lee's got. The son and Jerry Lee, as an example, uh, brought the world together. I mean, uh, in uh, Humboldt, Tennessee, they loved him. In Hamburg, Germany, they loved him. Well, we went over to Europe the first time I was with him in 77. And J.W. said, you know, don't be surprised if we get, you know, mobbed at the airport. And I could not believe all the people that were at the airport. I mean, the people just go nuts on them overseas. We were backstage at this particular uh, concert. I heard this, this band, front band, was on a hot band in Paris. A local band, real hot. And we heard something going, thump, thump, thump. I said, what in the hell is that? He said, what is that? So he's out the house taking a hit and throwing wine bottles on him. Jerry Lee, Jerry Lee, Jerry Lee. Rural Farrell, New 
choose three. And the killer's opinion is shared by others in the know, at least in part. Not to put others down, which I wouldn't want to do, but there are just certain uh, sort of very sweet pop records that Elvis did that, that really, to me, sounded very affected, you know. And Jerry Lee broadcasts his personality very strongly. It's really there, there on the surface, and, and uh, it just sort of overwhelms anything that comes uh, in contact with. nobody in the world that could play better than he could because he said so. I have never been wrong. I thought I was wrong one time to check it out and I was right. The man who authored this song has nothing but praise for Jerry Lee Lewis. I've never seen anybody of his generation who has still got the creative fire. He's still got the desire and the, the respect for his art to perform as he does. You don't have to have an epileptic kid to do it right. If you don't design rights, I ain't in trouble. Go ahead, killer, take it, On anything. Thank you. I mean, that's musically speaking, sexually speaking, walkingly speaking, talkingly speaking, uh, ignorantly speaking. So many people have copied the, the sort of superficial, flamboyant aspects of Jerry Lee's style. It's just ridiculous, but I don't think too many of them have got the uh, sort of rhythmic bedrock that he has. You sort of style, if you're a stylist, you sort of style, and people follow. And, uh... I got a hell of a hole to hold. Believe me. Whoa! Run my blade of old cannon. Run old colored gun. I ain't gone yet, baby. Earl Farrell, News 3.